What's up, guys? It's your boy Gang. Welcome back to another mod review video. First of all, let me go ahead and thank you guys for, you know, helping me reach that 100 sub mark. Um, it's, for me, it's a pretty big achievement. I've grown the most. Um, I think from December last year till now, I've grown maybe about 60 or 70 um, subscribers. So I appreciate that. But um, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the. It's the AGM. P310 and bodywork. So basically, it's um, it's this truck, and it has attachable bodies. This is kind of like the TLX um, truck we did a few maybe a few weeks ago. Um, it's the same principle of it. Um, to download it from the mod hub, the the total uh, megabyte size for the pack itself is 37.21 megabytes. Um, to purchase the truck alone, the base price is 110,000. It goes um, 55 miles per hour. Um, it has 310 horsepower and the slot count starting out is 24. Um, as for the back, this is for bales and um, I guess pallets and stuff like that. I actually saw a picture in the mod hub of it being uh, a tractor on there. I wasn't able to replicate that. But this starts at 18,000. Um, it holds it's 16 slots for each one of these. Um, and that's about it for that one. This one starts at 26,000 and the, the capacity is 35,000 liters and it's the same 16 slots um, to, to, for the initial first purchase. So let's go ahead and um, look in the store. So under trucks, you're going to find it right there. Um, basically, these are the options you have. You have the three color options. Then you have um, configuration. As you can see, it's already set to 6x2, which is an additional $10,000. Then you have 6x4, 8x2, 8x4, and then I believe it goes back to 6x2. From there, you have standard design, which is that right there. And then you have um, airfoil, which is kind of like that, I guess that spoiler thing on top. Um, and then that's back to standard. You have radio antenna, no. Radio antenna left. Radio antenna right, um, both on front and then back to no. Engine setup, you have the P310, you have the P340, which 310 is 310 horse, um, 320 horsepower, sorry. The 340 is 340 horsepower. Um, the 410 is 410 horsepower and then back to the 310. Um, decorations, you have lanterns. Where do those go? Not seeing where they go on the back. Oh yeah, there you go. So lanterns, yes, puts those five lights in the back. Back to no. Arching. Let's see what the arching is. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing this is the ability to load other things on there. Alright, so let me go ahead and select that. I'm gonna purchase this truck with that. Actually, no, I'm gonna just come back in with the other truck I have. Um front suspension, yes. And yes and no um glass door so you can have the glass clear you can have it tinted and then that's about it for the option so what i'm gonna do here is there's some stuff i want to test out um like i said i saw in the in the mod hub that you are able to put well there's a picture of a tractor on the back of one of these things so i want to see if i can get it get the tractor on there let me actually use this one instead because it's closer in there start that up so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go into the store. I'm going to customize this and add the option for the front suspension as well as the option for the arching or arcing, whatever, whichever way you guys want to pronounce it. All right, so let's do customize. And then let's go down to front suspension, yes. Arching, yes. Hit yes on that. Now, let's go test that out. I want to see if that gives us the ability to raise or lower the back of this truck better or what it does. That's, that's, that's really my main goal here before I even start testing the, um, the backs of the truck. Um, and this is the 6 by actually I put it back to the 6 by 2 but that was the, the, I mean the 8 by 2 This is the 6 by 2 setup. So it's 6 wheels on there, 6... Uh, um, you know whatever and then it's a uh, two-wheel drive um all right 
let's see the options that we get now let me go ahead and turn back on help window so lift axle that lifts the back thing there open cover not seeing what that does like that doesn't i don't see that doing anything so i'm not really seeing where there's an option to raise or lower um the suspension so what i'm gonna do is attach to this one over here i hope it doesn't i hope it fits What I want to see is if there's an option to raise or lower this because I'm not sure why it arches like this and what's the, the function of it. Close cover, so if you do um, LB and the left button and the directional pad, and it says open or close co cover, that raises or lower the front suspension. And that's basically it. Um, if you do LB and A while having this, this back attachment here, and you hit A, which it says download caps, it opens the back of the truck. It just drops the sides of the truck. And if you do, if you close it back, it closes the side of the truck um but i'm still not seeing an option to lower the back of the truck so lb again and a if you have the truck itself highlighted that raises or lower the, the rear axle that's about that um if you do yep so there isn't really it doesn't give you an option to actually as far as i see to lower the back of this enough to actually get something on the back of it so that's basically it for that but um as for the back of the trucks if you go to tools trailers and you go all the way over you're gonna see dry body i think is what it's called there you go um what it shows that it holds in the bottom is for when you have the actual grain trailer or whatever you want to call it not the flatbed so you have two options. You have the bail loading wagon, which is this. Bail loading wagons, you can actually use it as a pallet truck. That works. Um, only option you have for color is main, so you can switch between bail loader and um, the capacity or the, the trailer itself. From there, you have mudguard design, which is the short mudguards. Let me get back to the back of the truck real quick. So short mudguards, long mudguard, back to short, arching, No, yes, no, and yes. Huh. Alright, I'm going to purchase the bail wagon with arching and see what that does. See if that gives me the ability to, um, if that gives me the ability to lower it to a point where I can actually get some stuff. Let me just, let me, let's just, um, back up out of here. Pull this truck back in here up here Let's see if i can spin around really quick All right, let's see if there's any other options now. No.
Yes, I'm not seeing an option for that at all. So I'm going to do is get over to this truck. Um, then we're going to go ahead and go and show you what exactly you can load into the trailer itself. Um, it says all the dry stuff on the map or in any map that is, but I'm going to just give you guys a quick example. So let me pull up here and then get to the store and I'll bring you guys back in. All right, so for this truck, it's, it's actually a little bit different. If you do LB, sorry, RB and um, what's this one here? RB and the left directional, it takes off the cover. Um, so if we do push the left joystick in, here are the options. So this store sells mainly, I think, all the dry stuff. So wheat, oat, seed, lime, TMR, manure, fertilizer, hay, pig food, back to wheat. So that's all that store sells, but that shows you that it will take all the solid stuff in the game itself so that's basically it for this episode of my mod review guys if you guys did like the video please go ahead and hit the like button if you want to stay up to date with us going on please subscribe if you want to know every time i post please hit the bell beside the subscribe button if you have any tips comments suggestions um mods you want me to review or anything you need to know about the mods please give, go ahead and leave a comment below i'll definitely get back to each and every one of you and again guys thank you guys for making me achieve the 100 sub mark um, I'm planning on doing a, a giveaway here really quickly. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, if we get, let's say if I'm aiming for 15 likes and three comments. And if we get those, I'll go ahead and choose one of you guys who commented and um, give you guys um, something. Let's you know see how that works out. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching and thank you for the support.